I have so much dry shampoo in my hair right now because I did not want to have a shower. Hello everyone, today I'm going to be filming a video about how much I spend a week at university. So I basically just took a note on my phone of everything that I spent my money on during the week. Fun fact, I actually made this note in November but then I got sick and couldn't film the video and then I just, I don't know, forgot about it. This turtleneck is literally like choking me. So before I start I wanted to give a quick rundown and come on the train. So if you didn't know I live in Glasgow so I do live in a city so I feel like things are slightly more expensive but Glasgow really isn't as bad as a lot of other cities. But I do live in halls so I don't have to pay for like transport to uni or anything like that because I just walk there. I also haven't included rent or anything like that in this note. Um, I've just included like extra things that I've spent my money on. <coughs> This will be kind of fun because I actually do not remember what I did this week. Okay, so on Monday, the only thing I bought was food. I spent £8.26 on food. Usually, I would try not to spend that much, to be honest, and just use stuff that I already got in my flat. But I do remember that this day, Danny was sick, so I had to buy all of our food because he wasn't well. So altogether on Monday was obviously just £8.26. On Tuesday, I spent £3.35 on a coffee. Again... I feel like I kind of used to buy coffee out a bit more and now I don't really buy it from like a shop, I would just make my own. But I did go for coffee that day, I spent £3.65 on food, which I feel like is kind of around the average of how much I would spend a day on food. And also my Now TV bill came out that day, uh, which I was definitely meant to cancel, so kind of annoyed by that, but that cost me £3.99. So altogether for Tuesday, I spent £10.99 kind of a lot but that's what I spent. Okay now on to Wednesday the only thing I bought was something off of eBay I'm pretty sure. I was trying to make a purse into a bag so I spent £2.99 on a bag strap which I never even ended up using but I bought that on the, that Wednesday. On the Thursday I spent £3 on an Uber. Even though I do live close to the university sometimes if I'm like coming back from Danny's flat or I don't know, I need to go somewhere and it's dark, I'll get an Uber just because I don't really like walking in the dark because, you know, it's kind of scary. This is probably just because I was too lazy to walk. I also spent 2 65 on a Greg's, you know, just treating myself. And then I spent £5 on a bottle of wine, just all the essentials. Usually I go out on a Thursday so that will have been what the wine was for, but I do not remember how I managed to go out and not spend any more money. So altogether on Thursday I spent £10.65. On Friday I spent £2.90 on a train ticket to go home. My house isn't too far away so it only cost me £2.90 to get a ticket home with a rail card thingy. Then on Saturday I spent £2.90 on a train ticket again. I think I must have been coming back up here. Then I spent £1.16 on food and £2.49 on my like Apple iCloud bill thing. I'm not really sure what that is. Again, that's a monthly pay monthly payment. Oh my god, why can I not talk? Again, that's a monthly pay again, that's a monthly <laughs> Again, this is a monthly <laughs> Again, this is a monthly payment, but it just happened to come out this week. So altogether on Saturday I spent £6.55. Then on Sunday I just spent £5.50 on food. So altogether this week, um I did not seem to calculate it. That is really helpful. Altogether, for that week, I spent £47.84, which I feel like kind of sounds like a lot, but I feel like that's actually quite good for a full week. Hopefully. Oh my god, I think I've got my exam results out. Obviously, this is not what I spend every single week. You know, it completely varies on what I'm doing that week. Sometimes I buy clothes some week, sometimes I go out for food. You know, if I'm going out even on a night out, I spend more, I feel like, but on average, I think this is kind of how much I spend. I try and also budget as much as I can and save up quite a lot of money, um, which I'm not the best at. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it kind of gave you a bit of an insight on how much to expect to spend if you were like moving to Glasgow or to a city. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.